फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दिस अपील इज डायरेक्टेड अगेंस्ट द कॉमन जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर डेटेड ट्वेंटी एट्थ जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पास्ड बाय द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ केरला एट एर्नाकुलम इन सो फार एज रिलेटिंग टू आर एफ ए नंबर टू फोर्टी सेवन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन वेयर बाय द अपील फाइल्ड बाय द प्लेटिव रिस्पोंडेंट नंबर वन हेयर इन अगेंस्ट डिसमिसल ऑफ हर सूट फॉर कैंसलेशन ऑफ ए सेल डीट एंड फॉर प्रोहिबिटरी इंजंक्शन वॉज डिस्पोज ऑफ विद डायरेक्शंस टू द ट्रायल कोर्ट टू डिसाइड द सूट ऑफ फ्रेस आफ्टर डी नोवो ट्रायल Essentially, with the observations that the evidence necessary for proper determination of the suit had not been brought on record in the impugned common judgment and order dated twenty eighth June two thousand nineteen, the High Court has decided four appeals arising out of four different civil suits, but concerning the same contesting parties. and involving interrelated issues though the present appeal relates only to one of those appeals in the high court being rfa number 247 of 2014 that arose from os number 293 of 2012 in the court of subordinate judge originally os number 390 of 2006 in the court of subordinate judge kolam but for a proper comprehension of the facts a brief reference to the subject matter of the said four civil suits and findings therein shall be apposite the relevant factual and background aspects could thus be noticed in brief as follows the respondent number 1 filed the subject civil suit os number 293 of 2012 against the present appellant as defendant number 1 and other respondents her sisters as defendant numbers 2 to 5 for setting aside a sale deed bearing number 285 of 2006 dated 15th march 2006 registered in the office of sub registrar the suit schedule property consisting of 54 acres and 90 square meters of land and the cinema theater building thereupon comprised in block number 5 re survey number 551 of 3 of village kolam district was originally owned by father of the respondents and after his demise the respondents and their mother executed a partition deed bearing number 291 of 2003 whereby the suit schedule property was kept in joint possession and enjoyment of the respondents a partnership deed was also executed amongst the respondents for running of the said cinema theater and the husband of respondent number 1 was managing the cinema theater named tharangam theater on behalf of the partners as per the case of plaintiff respondent number 1 on 15th march 2006 the respective husbands of respondent numbers 3 and 5 asked her to reach the office of the sub registrar for execution of a security bond in favor of a film distributor and though she made a request for postponing the execution of such document because her husband was out of station the husbands of respondent numbers 3 and 5 insisted that the said security was to be executed on that particular day itself or else 
functioning of the cinema theater would be affected as the respondent number 1 had utmost faith and belief in them she reached the sub registrar's office and put her signatures on the document as required by them on 15th march 2006 when respondent number 1 inquired about the accounts of cinema theater from respondent number 5 it was informed that her share in the said property had already been sold on hearing the same the respondent number 1 rushed to the office of the sub registrar for getting a copy of the document executed on 15th march 2006 and on going through the same she realized that she was made to sign on a sale deed and not on a security document as told to her earlier further no consideration was received by her and hence the said sale deed was void and nonest stop